Hello, my name is Alaric Taylor and you join us at University College London for an introduction to the Langmuir Blodgett Technique. We're here in the Adaptive and Responsive Nanomaterials Lab in the Department of Chemical Engineering. We're working here with the KSV NEMA alternate trough manufactured by BioLens Scientific. This is a tool I'm very fond of as it allows us to trap either molecules or nanoparticles in two dimensions between water and air. Once trapped at this interface, we can study their interactions, manipulate their self-assembly and then deposit them onto another material. We keep our trough in a closed environment to prevent drafts in the lab from moving our floating monolayer. The Langmuir Blodgett process enables us to deposit a layer that is one molecule or nanoparticle thick. We refer to this as a monolayer. And we can repeat this process to build up multilayers. The KSV NEMA alternate trough also allows us to build bespoke multilayers in which we vary the nanomaterial on a layer by layer basis. The exceptionally high surface tension of water allows us to trap materials that are many times more dense than the water itself. The area in which these particles are trapped can be reduced or expanded with barriers that move across the water's surface. The molecules or nanoparticles trapped at the air-water interface interact with one another electrostatically or via capillary forces. The beauty of the Langmuir Blodgett technique is that we can observe and influence the interaction of these molecules and nanoparticles as an assembly and not as individual particles, meaning that in theory, we can scale up the process from a petri dish to the size of a swimming pool. In other words, this is a very elegant technique for bringing nanomaterials home to the glass of your television screen, for example. In our next video, we'll look at getting our Langmuir trough up and running so we're able to begin trapping nanomaterials as a floating monolayer.